Okay, so I'm going to show you one of many ways to add more of a distressed texture to a graphic. So one of my favorite techniques is I will have my graphic done because um, when you clip it, usually it kind of groups it all together at the very end. So once my graphic is done, I'll probably search something like subtle distressed texture and this is one that I like. So I'll copy the image or save it to my downloads. And then I'll select everything that I want it to distress. Go over to this transparency um, panel and you'll select it, hit make mask, just deselect the clip and then copy the texture into the graphic. Then you just do this, move it to how you want. Try not to stretch it too much. Um, and hit clip. And then there it is. You can see it kind of cut out like bits and pieces. Um, and if you don't like where some of it is, you can just kind of move it. Hit clip again. And so see, I like that a little bit more. It's a little more subtle. So then that's when I'll save it and export it, which I've already done a version of that. And then for another level of distress, I like to put it into Photoshop um, and then go into the filter gallery and just play around with all of these. So one of my favorites is like um, smudge stick is kind of good play around with that. It kind of just moves everything slightly. Um, you can add texture like just a normal texturizer where you you can see it might add more of like a canvasy look to it. Um, I also like adding film grain. You can adjust the grain. It tends to wash it out a little bit more but like for concert posters and stuff like that it looks really cool. So just play around with those filters when you're done, hit OK, and export it as is, and that's it. That's all you have to do to make your graphic look a little bit older.